Okay, so we're asked to solve this quadratic, and I'm assuming we're doing it by factorising, since uh, it's probably on the non-calculator paper. We can't use the quadratic formula. So the first thing we need to do is grab that coefficient of the x squared and this one here, multiply them together. So 2 times minus 36, which is minus 72. So we need a factor pair of minus 72, and they've got to add together to make minus 21. So factor pairs, well, we could have minus 1, 72, and often it's easier just writing them down positive and just know that one of them needs to be negative. There's no way I'm going to get minus 21 with those two. So we have 2 and 36. Again, we're not going to be able to get to 20, uh, minus 21 with those two. But 3 and 24, let's have a look. If we make them 24 negative and the 3 positive, then that does add together to make minus 21. So we're going to rewrite the question, but instead of minus 21x, we're going to say plus 3x minus 24x minus 36. Oh, it's the x equals 0. OK, now to do this next step, we need to just look at these first two terms, and then we're going to look at the second two terms. And we're going to factorize them linearly. So looking at those two, I can divide out an x, there's nothing else, and so we're left with 2x plus 3. Now whenever this one here is negative, we need it on the outside, so this could be negative, and those both are in the 6 times table. Are they both in the 12 times table as well? Yes they are. So 12 on the outside, and that leaves 2x. Now be careful with this, to make the 36, or to make the negative 36, we're going to have a positive, and it's going to be 3. Don't forget that the minus 12 on the outside will multiply together with the positive 3 to get the negative 36. Okay, next step, I look at the things on the outside of the brackets, and put them together. And then I look at the repeated brackets and just write it once. And then I go back and get the put <laughs> equal zero things in. OK, now the only way I can multiply two brackets together and get zero is if one of them is zero. So I'm going to do the left-hand side first. x minus 12 equals zero. And I'm going to solve that. So I'm going to add 12 both sides. And then I'm going to do the right-hand bracket. Slightly more complicated. I'm going to take away 3 both sides, and then I'm going to divide by 2. So it's minus 3 over 2, or minus 1.5. So our answers are 12, and either uh, 3 over 2, or 1.5, or 1.5. Absolutely fine. Now you can check your answer by substituting it back into this expression, and seeing whether it equals 0, which it will.